What's going on everybody? My name is Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Grammar by Dan. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty gloomy out here. It's raining on and off during this day. But it so happens that I really like rainy days, so I think it's a good time to learn about to be verbs. So to be verbs are a little bit tricky because they're a type of verb, right? So it's a, it's a type of action, kind of. But it's not your usual type of action. It's not like running or sitting, standing or that kind of thing, you know. A to be verb describes being. So what what is being? Being simply describes when something is in the state of something else. So for example, um, it is raining. Okay, so if I say it is raining, what do I mean by it, the pronoun? I mean this day or this time, it, it is raining. It is in the state of raining, right? So it, today is a rainy day. Um, if I say, all right, uh, this plant is green, I mean it exists as green. Yeah, that is what it is, right? So this is a type of verb, just like sitting, standing, or running. It describes something different. It describes being when something is a particular way. So is is the, the most normal type of um, being verb, but sometimes you have to change it around a bit. So for example, if you are talking about multiple people, right? Um, like for example, they, right? as a group of people, they, you don't say they is, you say they are. So are is another type of um, verb describing being. Um, if you're talking about somebody else, you're going to say you, you are, you know, um, you are special. You're all very special people. Okay, so these are your to be verbs. And there's so many other ones like was or were, which describe the past and the present tense. Um, you, got, you got so many. If you say um, am, am is a to be verb. So I am, you're describing yourself. I am special, very special. And uh, so that is basically what a to be verb is. Um, you can usually identify it uh, because it will come after a noun and it will describe the state of that noun. He is, or you are, or we are, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I hope it was informative even though it was really short, but I try to keep my videos short and informative. So thanks for watching this video. I will see you on the next one.